it's time to get some new evolution so come to a park in mahalakshmi layout it has pretty good number of poke stops as well so i'm going to get the mossy lure my friends over there are going to get the other two and uh, we're going to loot the space up and hopefully we'll be able to evolve some pokemons and get some interesting pokemons as well there are reports on reddit that uh, the spawn time is every 90 seconds and we are able to see some second type evolutions hoping for the best let's see how it goes time to put on the lures here it goes mossy lure module this will attract grass poison and bug type pokemons once i cast it we'll see it in which evolution it takes because there's ice on this side grass on the other side it's taking some time to catch and my friend is actually having some trouble putting up the lure hopefully once he does that we'll have all the three next to each other i can do the remaining evolution as well the magnetic con is obviously for steel rock and the mine I'll catch it later, but before that, um, okay. Uh, it's not clear, so I guess this is the magnetic one, and this is the one for grass, and they're also pretty. I mean, load up a normal load, and this is for ice. So we have helmet shiny. Nope. Okay. Now let me straight away jump to Ivy. Let's see what we get. this lucky to be glacion right now it is taking uh, leafy on lure that uh, green color lure is an indication that it is taking the leaf one so i need to go with that side if i want to get a glacion i'll do that later before that uh, i want to evolve this under ivy magnemite let me do that hope you notice the Blue icon of magnetic blue. So uh, it's time to get the magnet zone. New texting. And after that, we'll be doing nose pass. Nose pass is one more which we'll be getting via the blue method. And uh, I guess it's taking its time. Finally, it is. I did not get the shadow. And it's an under IV one. I do have two shinies. I'm not sure when I'll be evolving them. And IVs are not so great, so may do it bit later. Now let us jump to no spice. And yes, we can evolve it. We have the magnetic lure icon right here. So it goes no spice to probax. I'll be getting a beautiful no spice. of the park to guess get this uh glacian shiny wise looks better so i'll go for that lucky one here it goes and uh leafy on i'm not sure if i have a good ivy shiny but i'll be evolving one i need to have it in my collection i feel and uh, yeah another lucky glacian of course the first one was lucky as well the shiny is lucky as well and uh, let me be honest I like the shiny form more than the leaf yarn one. Yeah. I just want to observe how the lure module changes because I've started to walk. I'll be heading to the place where the mossy lure has been put up. Let's see if it changes. And uh, the spawns are looking pretty good. Of course, uh, my friend says there's a 788 good IV nose pass. Need to catch that. Catch that as well.
to the point where the pokey stop is but not sure why it's not changing maybe i need to get out and come in again uh, i guess that should be the reason let me do that let me check it now oh. see i'm already at this place okay before doing that two i mean three shiny checks and yes the spawns are happening every 90 seconds it's changing quite a lot so if you want to catch it uh, you better be quick okay now that i'm here i believe um, we should see the leafy on lure i mean mossy lure now let's see yes here it is so here it goes the one which will complete the evolution part for me and uh, yeah the shiny magnemite still remains that will happen in future and um, coming to leafy on shiny and normal version the difference is very minimal well we are done now i'll be catching few i mean i'll be catching all the pokemons and after that uh, I'll talk about the two new Pokemons which I got today morning and hopefully if we get to see some more and if possible these 9-10 km they catch us. It's actually getting really difficult to catch and uh, sharing second form. This is a normal form and the beauty about this thing is this turns into a beautiful Pokemon during sunny weather and uh, today morning actually I did not know about this I searched the entire database, I mean uh, dead Pokédex and I couldn't see a shadow like this and I was wondering what kind of Pokémon it is so I went to see it and uh, it was, oh come on, okay. it was alternate form of this terrain and uh, Finion, oh nice, it's been a long time since I saw one and um, yeah that is what happened when I went near it, I was like it looked to me one of the beautiful Pokemon I've seen and uh, once I caught it I saw its Pokedex number it was 4 I'm not sure I forgot totally uh, 421 I believe once I saw that I searched the Pokedex and found this form of Cherub and understood that it blooms into a beautiful Pokemon when it's sunny and uh, what do Niantic do same way they did for cash form they made it into a normal so when it's not sunny you get this brinjal kind of form and when it's sunny you get a beautiful beautiful yellow color pokemon and uh, let me be honest <laughs> i don't know uh, what is the case here i am yet to see the first form still i mean the first form of cherim and i'm not sure what it's called i'll find out once i catch it so fifth look Nice. I'm wondering how come it spawned from the mossy region. Yes, it's from the mossy region and sneezing. Anyway, once I get that, I'll talk about that. I also got another Pokemon and uh, it looks like Hippopotamus from the real world, but I'm not sure what exactly it's called. I need help from the data decks. I'll use its voiceover a uh, bit later in the video and it also has two forms I'll talk about that now it's uh, time to get back to catching Pokemon and uh, even this catch glitch is not helping me out uh, I'm finding it really difficult to catch it yes. and yeah if you have noticed I forgot to say about this. Leafion, Glaceon, Probas, and uh, Magnazone doesn't require a Sinnoh stone. You can just evolve it when you're near this lure module. And if you're doing it uh, for the first time, or if you're not used the name trick, you can follow the method from the previous video which I uploaded to get uh, Glaceon and Leafion. A worm has spawned, uh, but then. Uh, my player is not moving at all. Let me go a bit down and see. Yeah. It should be somewhere here. Where is it? Not 
spawning for me. Uh -huh. Yeah, okay, now I need to choose between two. Okay, and this should be it, yeah. I will go for the wormy then. Oh, it's called wormy. I thought it's wormy, okay. Um, I need to learn a lot. And I'm, I believe there are three types of wormy. And uh, not sure how, what type this is. And uh, evolution is different as well. I'll talk about it towards the end of this video. I need to rush and catch the other Pokemon. Huh? 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 Spawn it. Check my thing. When I evolved, this learns another type. I'm not sure if it's a female. I did not check that. Only females do that, I believe. Oh, come on. I lost it. <laughs> I guess I need to wait for some more time before catching that one and this happens to be a male so this will evolve into a different kind of Pokemon okay I understand why that happened the uh, load model ended so I guess I'll, we lost it and uh, it should be end of this one as well so we are done hmm. it was pretty nice so the total number of Pokemons we got were 37 and uh, I wasted around first 10 minutes catching nothing so it's a good thing I believe to go to a place with a lot of focus stops and uh, then capture Pokemons I guess it's time to head back home and uh, I'll see you all when those nine 10 kilometer exits not sure what we're getting wow. in Canada okay uh, Fifteen attack. Nice. Oh, I guess I need to walk another. Oh, it should hatch any moment now. Let's see. Let me do a small walk and come back. No. I'm not getting the animations, I'm not sure why. I've had stalled eggs and there's a Lapras inside, three yellow as well. They're gone. Would have been nice if this was a shiny. But anyway, we have 26 the Lapras day for three hours and uh, we have a high chance of getting a shiny on that day. I'll be waiting for that. And I'm not sure why I did not get a egg animation for the rest of the eggs. Yellow, a pretty good hatch. Okay. Uh, it's not coming, I guess, somewhere. Right? Anyway, uh, it's time to head back home and uh, we'll talk about the uh, new book. It's actually noisy out there. Uh, there's some work going on around. Okay, anyway, uh, coming to the egg gadgets, there is a small bug which is causing the animations to not happen, especially when it is uh, continuous egg gadgets together. I mean, multiple egg gadgets together. And um, talking of Lapras Day, I said it as 26. It's not 26 for people in India. It's actually on 25th, and uh, it's on May 25th between 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. It's local time everywhere. 26th is only for people of Asia specific region. And um, it's a three hour window, five free passes. Apart from that, uh, it's gonna get a legacy move back. I mean, our East Shard was a legacy move, but we'll be getting that back during the three hour window. 
and dice beam as well and this lapras day happens to be a part of a raid week and during this raid week we'll be getting another new shiny and the one which i love a lot bronzer looks too good with that green shade i like it with the blue shade as well but then uh, green is always special for me so you'll be getting the bronzer as well and it starts from 21st may and up to 28th and the additional bonus are uh, two times stardust two times experience and uh, thanks to league tech here are the raid bosses which you'll be seeing during that week and it's a uh, kind of interesting especially when it comes to four star at least for me because you're gonna see dragon knight tyranitar metagross uh, three huge pokemons of course the moveset for metagross may not matter but then seeing those in raids is really special okay now let us come to the community day obviously it's happening today i mean by the time you see this video so it will be between 3 pm to 6 pm local time and talking of shiny shiny is not having much difference from the normal form and the move is blast burn as expected it was the case with the other two fire starters as well and uh, one thing which is definitely attracting many people to play this community day for the three hours is the 3x catch x i mean 3x catch stardust not xp so that is a very important thing i mean make sure you use your star piece and catch as many pokemons as possible if you're good at it use catch glitch as well which will really help you catch more pokemons and that's it for the community day part and i'll be playing at majestic as usual because now nah, you have a lot of spawns over there so that's my plan and uh, a permanent move is being added from today for blaziken and it's called uh, blaze kick and it's a triple charge move it was initially announced as 50 now they nerfed it to 45 10 percent decrease few more minutes before i end this video i actually forgot about the main part which i wanted to talk it's about the pokemons which have been released so the first one is cherubi it's a grass type pokemon and uh, I've already caught the evolution of it, but then I met to see the first form of this. As I said, it evolves into Cherim. I mean, it looks like a Brinjal in normal conditions. And when it's sunny, it blooms into a beautiful flower type Pokemon. It's time to talk about the interesting Pokemon called Burmy. The one I which I caught yesterday is known as Trash Form. There are two more forms, uh, Plant and Sandy. And the interesting thing about this is the male of all these three forms evolves into a single Pokemon called uh, Mothem and uh, female turn into a different pokemon in the evolution part is called as wormadam but then uh, they get a new type added when they evolve the plant form gets grass type along with its bug the sandy form becomes a ground slash bug and the trash form becomes a bug slash steel so which is an interesting uh, thing i mean i really liked it I, I i found the idea of this concept to be really good i never knew about this so I'm waiting to catch all these forms and evolve them as well. This is another interesting Pokemon. This is just like how Nidoran works. It's, they, it has a male and female form as well. It's called Hippopotas. And the one which I caught yesterday was the male one. Female one has alternate color pattern to it. I mean inverse color pattern. And uh, evolution wise, it does look a lot different. I mean the color code for male and female. And it's known as... Ipodon, Ipodon, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Shellos, it was actually released for 15 minutes, I believe, worldwide before it was rolled back. It has two forms, one is found in the West Sea and another in the East Sea, in the main series. Not sure how it goes in Pokemon Go, I probably believe Eastern side will get, Eastern side of this hemisphere will have one and the Western side will have the other. Now let us come to the most important Pokemon of this new wave. It's called Gibble. It's a ground come dragon type Pokemon. And uh, many are excited for this. I don't know. I need to have a look at the stats before uh, confirming why it's so. But look wise, the final form, Garchomp, looks too good. I guess it does have something important when it comes to meta. No wonder people are crazy about that. And uh, it is confirmed that Gibble is hatching from 10Ks right now. Hopefully, I'll get on soon. And I believe these are the new Pokemons which are there in Pokemon Go right now. The new wave. And um, yeah, I guess it's now time to end this video. And uh, see you in the next one with Torchic Community Day.